my name is Richard Kornitsky. I'm a trustee of the Polish Air Force Memorial Committee. We were set up by the veterans body, the Polish Air Force Association, in 2010 to continue their work into the future and to maintain not a membership organization because the veterans were by then in very small numbers, but to maintain the story for future generations. So our work focuses on the annual commemoration at RAF Northolt, which are, this is our privilege to organize, where every year more and more people come, um, second, third, fourth generations, and a lot of the local community too. But in addition, we run two museums, one at RAF Northolt, one at the Battle of Britain Bunker in Uxbridge. Um, we arrange other memorial events. We created a, mem uh, a new memorial in Normandy, marking the role of the Polish Air Force in the liberation of France, uh, which is a largely unknown area. Um, and wherever there's an opportunity to create a film, give a talk, tell a story, to anyone who wants to know the Polish Air Force story, we will seize it. And what we have found over the years is the demand is constantly increasing and the reception that the story gets is always the same. People are just astonished to learn just what the Poles did. And for me also, it's personal because my father, who only died in 2017, uh, aged 100 and nearly 101, was then the last surviving Polish squadron commander and the last man alive who had completed the three years training at Demlin, flown in the defense of Poland, evacuated to France, flown in the defense of France, and then flown again in Britain and commanded the squadron here. So, as he said, he was no one special. Uh, just another pilot were his own words, but his experience, in effect, encapsulated <coughs> the experience of all that generation, which is why at the end of his life he was so much in demand as a representative.